Today here at the San Diego Zoo, we were trying to have a uh, mating of our Goliath bird eaters, one of the largest tarantula species in the world. And uh, we think we may have had some success, although it'll be a while until we find out. The timing and the physical conditions need to be spot on for this species to, uh, to successfully reproduce. And we have never had success with it here at the zoo before. We're trying with uh, some males that we have uh, that have just recently matured, so they're ready to mate. And fortunately, we have a female as well who is, uh, we think, in the right time in her shed cycle. It's sort of a complicated dance slash wrestling match. Um, the males usually will initiate by strumming their uh, forelegs on the ground in front of the female's uh, burrow. And then she will reciprocate if she's interested with a drumming and usually back the male away from the entrance of the burrow and push him backwards. He meanwhile is trying to raise her up uh, off the, her front legs off the ground and hold them back so that not only is he safe but he can also get his pedipalps towards her abdomen which is how he uh, implants. The female is usually going to be significantly larger than the male and if she is in a, um, a mood to eat, if she's feeling hungry or just feeling uh, aggressive for whatever reason, she can uh, kill him potentially. And we are therefore trying to make sure that they stay safe and separate them quickly if anything happens that looks to us like she's getting aggressive with him. They have urticating hairs. All New World tarantulas have uh, hairs that they can flick off. They're barbed. It's a kind of protection for them. And so they can do that if they feel threatened and uh, we try to take precautions ourselves. We, we'll wear safety glasses and try to keep a distance and we'll wear gloves, uh, hoping not to get any of those irritating hairs on us, especially in our eyes. In a few weeks to a few months, we may see an egg case from her if the conditions are perfect. And then after that, several months later, the spiderlings would be ready to hatch out and you can get several hundred from a single egg case. If we do have successful uh, mating and we do get spiderlings out of it, we'll be able to distribute those to other institutions to keep that captive bred population in the zoo uh, community uh, going. And that's our hope.